One of the things about distressing is that uh, you always want to start off really slow and work yourself to the complicated stuff. Kind of like if you're working out. It's like if you were start off with something a little fine, probably like 120, and we'll go from there. Because uh, I mean, white will show everything up like a sore thumb. It'd help if you put the air compressor on too. See, the trick is to keep the sander moving. Just not let it have in one spot. Because you have it in one spot, it starts making little circles. Sometimes big figures. But no sharp edges on anything. See how that, see how that looks out? Comes Interior out. stuff is not crackled. So the sander really cuts through it really easy. Is, uh, <laughs> you really want to do keep the sander moving at all times. And long, say, I don't know, 16 inch long stroke. The time you get all like the that. little parts done, the time you get around to the base cabinet, you kind of know where the piece is going and Because if you start with the base cabinets first, and you have to, have, it's harder for everything to follow thereafter. But if you do every little stuff first, and then let the then the base cabinet, and it's not so difficult. Oh. Kind of uh, two folds. It's a piece of furniture. Yeah, uh, it's functional, but it's to me, it's functional art. Because you can't get this at you know your star furniture. Im imports of Ashley furniture. And what I try to do is actually, uh, of all things, is uh, I'm creating a canvas, a sturdy, ca sturdy canvas, and uh, from that sturdy canvas, uh, I apply uh, some kind of a painting, basically a story. Say in a way, I I create furniture fiction. Every time I take something away, I'm telling a story. Uh, I read somebody. This is some landscape painter or somebody. It wasn't nobody really extremely famous but that I know of. But he said every line, every paintbrush mark is like a word, a punctuation, a paragraph. And I thought that that was actually pretty cool. Because he's right. I mean, I don't spell very well, I don't write very well. Well, I do write okay, but I can't. My grammar really sucks. Hey! Now begins the fun part which is 
the glaze part. And I may have this a little dark, but that's okay because I'm working on the top part. But the glaze is the secret sauce that gives it that antique look. And uh, I get a lot of people saying, well, what do you use? What do you use? What do you use? Well, I'm not going to say that. I mean, it's a combination that I've figured out that works really good for me. And uh, spent years developing it. So it's not something I'm going to give out for free.